We're going all the way. Oh, iPod, fifth gen. Oh, it's probably my favorite. It just stinks of the mid 2000s, really. But this is the holy grail of modifiable iPods. This is a 5.5 gen. We know that because it's got 80 gigabytes in it. The very last of these white iPods. Can't wait to see that screen running because it's just... Oh, so why is this one so good? Well, people agree that the fifth gen is the best sounding iPods, funny enough, but also because it's got that 80 gigs in it, it's got more RAM, meaning that we can do more with it. I've put 256 into one of these 30 gig iPods and it just freaked out. It didn't like it, it would crash, all that sort of stuff. 128 runs really nice on this. I've seen people get a terabyte into these, so... Uh, let's do it. I want to see if it works. I don't think so. <laughs> So I picked up this puppy nice and cheap because it doesn't work. Yeah, that's a dead drive. And the seller was transparent about it. And I went, that's perfect. <laughs> Let's hope it actually works. Oh, blue ones. Yeah. Normally you want to use one of these so you don't go, you know, chipping pieces of your iPod out. Uh, I'm going to replace this front cover at some point. So la, da, 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 da. we're just going to do it the old dirty way. Yeah. A dirty way. I want to release the bear tree by pushing down the... Oh, you can't see it. And Bob's your auntie, mate. Looks like someone's been in here before. All right, we know this drive is a dead end. It is chirping and complaining. Uh, so the beautiful thing about these 5.5 80 gig models is they got a really big thick case to handle these big dungus broken drives. So they have thicker batteries in them. Like here's a here's a 30 gig battery. Like you can see. We're gonna put this battery in it. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to slide it under. Yeah. Now I'm being wary of that. That's a grounding point. Might have to stick that down. You can use double-sided tape. I'm not sure if all this is gonna work, so I want it to be removable, and I want to make sure I stick down. That cat at the top. So be wary when taking this tape out that you don't want to pull all of these electronics out with it. To get this terabyte into this puppy, you're gonna need an iFlash card. The quad, awesome. You just you just stick them in there. They don't even have to be the same brand. That's why one of them isn't. They ran out. <laughs> this one's gonna do all you need. This is just a piece of gaff tape that I folded over itself that I like to just rest on that. Just. I know this piece of foam that they give you, but I've, I've got my own foam. Yes, that is good. That's saying it knows, uh, it knows there's a hard drive, but there's nothing on it. Uh-huh. Restore it. I've never put this much in an iPod before. <laughs> I, I don't know what happens. Now we're talking. Oh! <laughs> It will not be rushed. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, it doesn't have a thing for it, but law oh! <laughs> it did it! <laughs> wow man! <laughs> Sync music, all of it, 41,000. Include the videos, man. Yeah, just put all of it on there. That's this is a lot of stuff here. And it's only half full. Let's do it. I will have to report back, like, tomorrow when it's done sinking. It's finally done. 
Oh, well, that took forever. <laughs> When you start running this much stuff on these old iPods, it starts to flip around in terms of flash is faster than the old school hard drive. But when you've got this much storage in it, it is the slowest it's ever been. Like just getting this thing going. There you go. But it all went on there. Mmm. It's not loud, but it's there. Mmm. Will it play Shrek? Yes, it will play Shrek. But the big test for me, and it's the main reason why I love using these things, shuffling. Can it do it? It's thinking. Come on. Whoa, what the heck -rooney? We're giving it every chance of success here. Ooh. Okay. So, let's go straight to shuffle. Yep. This one doesn't even want to do it. <laughs> you know, funny, before I press record, I had a quick go at shuffling it because I was so excited and it crashed to the Apple logo. If you don't care about shuffling, yeah, you could put a terabyte in this and it'll work, it'll play Shrek. But if you're a dirty shuffler like I am, which for me is the best part of iPods, I'd stick to 256. That's about how much this thing can handle. If you want more than that, you're gonna have to think about a seventh gen. So to save some time, I've already done the same steps. There's a, there's a big chungus battery within the big chungus case. There's a piece of gaff ready to go. All we gotta do is slide it in there. Start syncing all the music onto it. Man, it takes ages. Yes, Restore. Restore. Unknown error. That's annoying. That the troubleshooting began. I recognize it. You son of a bitch. Oh, you son of No, oh, you son of a bitch. Yes, yeah, so I was packing up to walk away and it just turned on. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh wow. Oh man, I'm I'm glad I kept pressing. <laughs> Go. Oh, it deserves a name at this point. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> let's uh let's fill it to the brim and let's see if this can shuffle it. It's past the Shrek test. So finally, the big one. Will it shuffle the library? This is where the last one failed. Oh, 
Come on, baby. <gasps> <laughs> it worked! Yes! Oh, I think I found my daily iPod with ridiculous storage. Well, there we go. Just a couple of bits left. Put that piece of foam in there. Just gotta tuck that under. One of these backs out even a little bit. It all doesn't work. <laughs> cool, there you go. One terabyte <laughs> dank pod pro is absolute overkill. Well, I'm gonna run this for a little while to see actually what it gets up to. Maybe I'll just fill the rest as a portable hard drive just as a means of testing it. But that's wicked, that, that runs great. No, yes.